Alright ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be going into the very hard guild quest of no affiliation range. Don't mind the two tickets, I was using my melee team on accident and I didn't realize, so we lost an entire run, unfortunate. But, we are going to be using Macy, 8th anniversary Ichigo, and Nosaki. Completely forget her name, almost called her Aznat for some reason. But, we're going to be going in with the full SP build, obviously the usual, don't have another full stim recharge link, but honestly, 14% recharge, max transcendent Ichigo link, pretty darn good, and then full stamina and recharge link there, she is 3 out of 5, and then we have her full stamina damage and damage to weaken enemies, and then we also have 8th anniversary Ichigo, full SP set, and then full stamina damage and recharge, he has the only 1 out of 5, full stamina damage boost, he has shared complete status immunity, so... I'm kind of banking on Ichigo running into the freeze, or you can just stand in the very middle, and that's where you don't get frozen, I believe. I haven't actually tested it yet, but we'll have to see. Uh, he has damage to weakened enemies. For another uh, soul trait skill link thing. Uh, and then we have Masaki, who has all attack, obviously. If you don't know, uh, the... Uh, hollow bait is better than the sticker. I think I could probably still use the sticker and I would be fine if you do the math right But I'm just gonna stick with the hollow bait Just w why not and then I gave her full stamina damage and recharge and then I gave her this away on link since it's an extra 40% normal attack damage at full stamina I gave her this because of her SA2 with her boost. She is 5-5 five five maximum ascendant. She has freeze resistance, so nothing to worry about there. She has full stamina damage, and I gave her a start barrier just so that she has a bit more protection and she doesn't have to worry about it. You could just give her plus 10 attack or plus 200 attack. That's perfectly fine. Either way, let's just hop right on in. All right, let's hope Macy doesn't get frozen right off rip because we have Ichigo there. Let's just jump in. SA3, jump in the middle, hit him with the SA2. And we don't proc our status element. Probably because of Ichigo, to be honest. Let's just wait for the SA2 right there. There we go. We got the SA. Just going to do this. Okay, and then we can just stand here. We can probably one-shot earlier, to be honest. Boom. We did not. Unfortunate. Hit him with the SA2. Alright. Uh, we can just probably soul bomb here. Boom. Okay. SA1. Beautiful. We don't have our SP boost, which is unfortunate. Send Ichigo flying. Okay. And not too bad. Obviously, you can make it way better. I also hate the freeze on the ground. Like, as you can see, like, I can't see anything. I just stood still and I hit my strong attacks because I couldn't see anything. Funny enough, they were kind of standing outside the frozen pools, too. It's like they knew. But either way, we got the uh, entire clear. Not too shabby. I don't really mind what score I get since my guild isn't really pushing anymore. Maybe if I somehow get into a different guild, maybe I can actually try hard and try to push for a better score. But at the moment, I am perfectly fine with just clearing the very hard guild quest just to get the orbs. So yeah, um, and if you don't have Macy, we can probably try something like this. We'll pull Ichigo as the main and we'll try to find another side character to uh, replace Macy. All right, so we're gonna be using the Kagarosa. I completely forgot him about him in my who you should bring video. Also another good character apparently a lot of people were saying is the Momo. Apparently she is also a really good character for it. So if you do have her, you could definitely try bringing her. I underestimated her. A lot of people slack jumped on me. So uh, understandable if she, if you can use her and she works well, go for it. Mine is just not built that well. So I don't have enough scrolls to actually play test her since you need her level 10 attack, like bare minimum. But we do have Kagroza. He is also basically max and center. I didn't realize, but I gave him full stamina damage boost and then attack. You could probably just give them attack and focus and it would probably be better. So, cause that way if they get hit, they don't lose this extra 25% damage. The focus is still there. You just do more crit damage. So yeah. And then we have Ichigo. Saki, the exact same thing so let's hop right on in and see if we can all right so let's just jump right on in hit him with the sa3 sa2 and how am i not inflicting my status of which hit? what ain't no way i did bruh hit him with that hit him with the sa2 where's my sp boost bro this is actually crazy i haven't gotten it one time Oh my goodness, Kagarosa is eating them alive! Okay. He does have attribute disadvantage, so okay, we're already on 5 out of 5. <laughs> what? Did we proc our SP? Does Ichigo just not have an SP boost? 
Am I crazy? Does Ichigo not have an SP boost and I'm, and I'm wilding right now? Basically the exact same time. <laughs> Basically the exact same time. Am I crazy? Does Ichigo not have an SP boost? I think I might be crazy. I actually think I might be crazy. I thought he did. But either way, it's still 25 second clear. Obviously, don't get any rewards, which, man, I miss. GQ clear rewards. I'm not gonna lie. Really miss it. Am I just crazy? I'm just crazy. It's crazy that he did that good, too. So, without even an SP boost character, Kagura's filled the role and annihilated. So, honestly, I think he's a way better side. So, yeah, the, he, these two are probably the best sides for it. So, my bad for completely forgetting about Kagura's. I used to use him in the old GQ. Just completely forgot that he was that good. Alright, we are back. So, we're going to be bringing Asnut for our final run. He is only 1 out of 5. We have the SP boost, fortification pill, and you know affiliation killer sticker. The tenses against the lake, full standard damage and recharge. Full standard damage and recharge. Only 1 out of 5. He has weakening and slow on all of his attacks. So, kind of curious to see how he does. He has full standard damage boost, and then we gave him damage to weakened enemies. You could just probably give him the 200 SP, but... I just figured why not just a bit more consistent in any kind of content he goes into uh only problem is he might not inflict his status element since he only does have frenzy plus is it frenzy it is frenzy 2 at least but he doesn't have an increased chance so yeah let's uh let's see how it goes all right let's hop right in hit him with the sa2 shield and my entire team is immune to freeze so that's really good oh yeah look at cook cook oh no oh no oh no this is a this is a predicament and a half, but we have the shield, so it's fine. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we have the SA2 ready. Let's just pop it right now. Gather everyone in. Beat up the little Uru. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, uh, I'm probably going to soul bomb here just because I don't have a strong attack kit ready. Strong attack ready. Where is the enemy? There they are. Okay, I mean, we're basically doing the exact same amount of damage with our all three of our teams. So, you know, pretty consistent. Like, almost the exact same. I think one second slower than the Macy run, but this is just because I didn't... I just shouldn't have used Macy, or uh, Ichigo. If I use Kagurosa and Masaki... <laughs> well, as not. Uh, if I used Kagurosa and Macy, uh, Kagurosa, Macy, and Masaki, I think that would have been the best team possible. But, obviously, I want to have freeze immunity, so there is a bit of a... Uh, Play testing you gotta do with the Macy there since she can just get frozen right off spawn, which is pretty annoying pretty annoying. But either way, all really consistent clears, all one out of five characters besides the Macy. So I mean I guess you know the side characters aren't one out of five. Yeah, I get that. But still, you can still definitely do it one with one out of five characters as long as you have them with the plus an attack. And then if you give them the plus two hundred attack on all of their links, such as you know, like these, you know, I would highly recommend giving your full stamina damage characters attack and SP is their t uh, T20 link then you will get an even bigger boost. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Take care and peace out.